Because what are some things you can't control just in everyday life? Your anger? Okay. As Ebony McClenny mentors Baltimore City kids, there's not a day that goes by where she doesn't think of her own. The car, he was a pretty, always lovable kid, very, very intelligent, um, always straight A's, honest student. That's why Ebony never imagined her Dakari's face would end up on a wall like this, among so many other faces frozen in time. Losing my son, you know, it definitely changed my whole perspective of life. You know, I look at life a lot differently. Ebony is a single mom. She says she did her very best to raise Dakari right and give him everything he needed to be successful. But as a teenager, Dakari chose a different path, started hanging with the wrong crowd. He just kind of started to get into trouble, you know, engaging into negative behaviors that ultimately led to him being arrested at 16. And, you know, from there, we, we tried, tried so many interventions to try to keep him on the right path. But unfortunately, his behavior ultimately led to his death. Dakari died in a triple shooting on North Collington and North Avenue in May of 2022. He was just 17 years old. It, it impacted me traumatically, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. But ultimately, I wanted to turn that pain into a purpose. I see so many kids that are my son that are going in the wrong direction, and they can ultimately possibly, you know, get a, get a message from me that can help inspire them to do the right thing. So six months after Dakari's death, Ebony started her own nonprofit called Sun Organization. That stands for Surviving Our Neighborhood. She works with kids in high schools and youth organizations across the city, focusing on trauma-informed care, financial literacy, effective communication, and leadership skills. She also shares Dakari's story. There's a lot of pain right here. Terry Williams with the youth mentoring organization Challenge to Change I give a taste of this. helped Ebony bring the vision to life. He lost his own son to gun violence in Baltimore, and he mentored Dakari too. Now he watches as Ebony tries to prevent his students from falling victim to the same thing. She, she's getting healing from us and we're getting healing from her, you know, at the same time. Healing that lends itself to hope, hope that no more young faces will end up on this wall. The mission of my organization is to let them know, you know, you can survive your neighborhood. You know, you can survive the adversity. You know, you just have to choose the right path and try to push yourself to do the right thing. I know y'all missed me because I missed y'all too. I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.